So you probably watched me use this 3D printer template that I made, uh, put it onto the body, well the wings, the timber for the wings as well as the, the neck, then I marked up the body and uh, took the two sides of the wings to the bandsaw, cut them down, and now I'm going to use the router, but you know that this is not glued on yet. So I figure the best way to do this now would be to place these exactly where they should be lined up, Put, stick the template onto one side, then move it out a little so the other side of the template is supported by the timber, but there is a clearance between the wing that I will route and the piece that runs through the middle, the neck through part, so that I don't accidentally nick anything off uh, this part of the guitar, which I shouldn't be touching right now. Wish me luck! Good morning. It's half past 10, Friday, 26th of January, and I'm back in the workshop, back in my bright t-shirt. Now, it's not by choice, though. I tend to wake up quite early. We have blackout curtains, and after the shower, I just pull something out of the drawer without knowing exactly what I'm going to pull out. And it's only when I step out into the living room do I find out that I'm wearing this extra bright t-shirt today. So back on the video with the extra bright t-shirt. Today I'll continue work on the guitar and so what I'll do is cut the fretboard down to shape, uh, radius it and then let's work on inlays. And once I've got inlays done then the frets can go on and with the neck once I've got this to shape um, I can cut the sides down. They don't need to be this wide. And of course, then let's look at the headstock. And while that's going on, let me tell you that when I did the uh, 
wings for the body. I had a bit of tear out right here, but that will not be an issue because I was already going to start with a Telecaster shape and alter it slightly and I'll work that in at this end. So let's get to work. I'll see you later. Before I use that plane on the sides of the fretboard, I'm going to sharpen the iron. I'll start with a thousand grit and then move on to 3000 and finish with 800 and I've got a little strop here. At the end. One is start all over again with another fretboard, another blank, and that's going to be quite a bit of work, but it will probably turn out a much better fretboard. Second option is I'll take a bit off two sides of this and add on stripes with another piece of timber, and I do have that right here. This is a strip of beach that came off the strip that runs through the middle of the guitar here uh, when I cut it to size. So this is long enough to give me strips on both sides. If I cut it in half, yeah, it's thick enough. I can have a strip of this running on both sides, so we'll have some beach on either side. What do you think I should do? Leave a comment and let me know. Thank you. Meanwhile, if you're wondering about this little jig that I used to plane the sides of the fretboard, it's nothing that I created. It's, uh, it's a piece that exists. Let me show you what it is. got it from the As Is section at Ikea. It's a river shelf. I think it's meant to be for pictures. And I think it cost me like a dollar or two. And it's, it's perfect. Clamp it down, 
clamp the fretboard to this end and I can plane away. In fact, probably can to plane other things as well. Works well. Why not use it? I've got two of these. River, if you can pick it up, I'd recommend it. Jigs at Ikea. Who knew they had them?